under some of the, the uh, diluted grace message, there would be this thought that God doesn't require specific things from us, that everything's already covered. And, uh, and the Lord is really good at giving commandments. Here's the thing that, that concerns me the most. You know, Jesus says, um, Jesus said, you say, or you've heard it said, thou shalt not murder. That's probably a good command to keep. He said, but I say, if you call a neighbor a fool, you're guilty of hellfire. So here's the interesting thing. When people say, well, we're not under law anymore. Yeah, yeah. Don't relax too much. <laughs> because you just got introduced to a much more severe commandment. I mean, it's a lot easier to not murder someone than it is to not call someone a fool. It reminds me of the kid that's driving to school with his mom in the car and he says, Mommy, how come the idiots only drive when daddy takes me to school? <laughs> that's funny. So grace introduces a whole nother level of potential out of the life. So when God, when the Lord removed the mandate of law, it wasn't that he removed the mandate of responsibility. What he did is he joined us in living partnership with the Almighty God to do what was unthinkable, what we're incapable of doing before grace came. Grace enables the law requires, but grace enables.